Hi guys, welcome back. This is the Tetra. And these guys are having a little snooze about. They do really well in here. Corey's love this substrate. It's the Fluval Stratum. Um, they did have sand in there, but they just brush it all over. They do love having a dig about. So, what have we got going on in here today? Well, we've had, as you can see, it's very out of focus in there at the moment. Very misty. There's a reason behind that, which I will talk about in a second. Now, in here, we do have some ideal fish. You see the females up there, all hanging about at the moment. Um, they are going into a bigger tank outside, and I will be breeding them. Um, I like the hybrids, I think they're very colourful, and they're quite interesting, the way they act. You've got the real big mummer over there, which is great. If you've got a yellow female, and you get any male endler, get two, or one, and two of those females, they'll do really well in these sort of conditions. Now, oh, here we go, how's the shrimp doing? Shrimp doing really well in this tank. Now, the problems I've got is there are two electric blue rams, there's one over there, who gets a little bit grumpy um, and doesn't really like what's going on in this tank so I'm making some adjustments to the tank this this is a sock with moss peat in it now moss peat will make this a slightly softer water now it does take a while and you might need to use a little bit more than that in there but it is fantastic for softening water. It's called moss peat. Uh, a lot of discus um, breeders use it. Now, I'm using it just to lower the water a little bit. Now, when I do the water changes, I will be checking it periodically to get it exactly where I need it. Um, this is for rams like a softer water, so I'm gonna use it for that. Um, oh, there's the other guy down there. I don't know if you can see him in between that hanging about they don't come out as much as the uh, panda cores cores but uh, they're doing well um, we're going to be moving out some of the sword out of here there you go look his gills look very sore at the moment and the other ones around the back as well so I'm softening the water up with that it will give it a slightly different color than clear on the water and as you can see, there's lots of particles in the water, which I will be dealing with. Um, this is sort of before a water change. So um, if you really want to know the importance of checking your water as well, water coming into my house has 50 parts per million uh, nitrate. Um, so I have to run everything through a nitrate filter because when I check this, because the amount of plants I got in there, it's only about 30 when I do the water change. So I'm actually adding nitrates which you know people say is okay 50 parts per million blah 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 but I don't want that okay um, second thing is what you want to check it coming in is for anything else um, we had a burst pipe outside not so long ago and we had all sorts of other contaminants coming into the water which I believe killed a lot of my fish okay um, so look you know you keep an eye on it um, I'm still checking on this filtration. I believe filtration is all dependent on what you're keeping. And as you can see, the Nubius is going crazy in there. And there's lots of lots of shrimp in here as well. So like, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm hoping to bring the pH down. If this works, I will drop a link to the supplier that I got this from because it was cheap. Uh, and it is moss peat, and all you need is a sock, really. Um, and I'm going to judge on just how much you need to lower 100 litres of water. So guys, thanks for watching. We will speak soon. Take care. Oh, and just before we go, um, I've painted the background on this with some acrylic paint. Now, I don't normally paint the backs. We leave them blank, but uh, I thought I'd try something different. At the moment, acrylic paint is easy to use. 
give this two coats and it's done you can peel it off if you don't like it you can get multiple different colors um, and you can wash it out in water so it's fantastic to use it leaves no smell there's no kind of um, essence I mean I wouldn't put it in the water obviously it will dissolve so but it's looking good the whole back is now done and you can't really see it in this it's still a bit shabby with the water but I'm going to try and do the big Roma when we do that as well. And we've got some new updates on the Roma as well. Guys, take care. Thank you for watching.